Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another reading. This time, it's emergency. It's on the submarine, I think it's the Titanic Voyager, that has gone missing. So everyone has been spamming me like crazy. Um, please do a reading on the missing submarine. Please do a missing on the missing submarine. So for those of you that don't know, there's a submarine that is literally like the tiniest thing you could possibly imagine. They have to sit crisscross next to each other and they literally are like smushed together. It's the tiniest little submarine ever. Uh, they can't even really move in it and barely. And um, it was with a bunch, I think there was like a handful of people on board and it was meant to go down to the ocean and pass by the Titanic and see it through like a little peephole. Um, but it has gone no contact and has been missing for a couple of days, I think now. And um, they're saying that they only have like 40 hours left of oxygen, but that that's also like their least of their worries right now. So everyone's kind of wondering what happened to it and where it is. Um, so I feel like it would be a disservice. I didn't at least try to help. You know, God only knows what could happen and what happened. And hopefully maybe I can get some answers or some help or who knows who could see this video. You never know. Um, and so you guys are right. Um, know that my intentions here are to help. I will say this is probably going to be the most difficult reading I've ever done just because I've never really done a reading on like a submarine before. I've done readings on like you know, the ocean before and like mythical creatures like mermaids and stuff, which I'll put a link to it up here. But I've never really done like a submarine. So I'm not really sure how to read this like a missing submarine or missing shipwreck. I've done like a missing airplane, the MH70, whatever the Malaysian Airlines, I'll put a link to it up here if I remember. But I've never really done like a shipwreck or like a missing submarine. So I'm not really sure how this is going to go. Um, that's kind of why I want to do it. Because um, I like challenges and I like things that are hard and, and difficult that I've never done before. And, you know, hopefully I can go back to this reading and see things that I missed or what, what you know, what have you. So this will be fun for fun, fun for me and challenging for me. So hopefully you enjoy it. Remember, these readings are all legend for any tapers only. And let's get started. Okay. So I kind of want to look at the submarine first. Eight of Wands. Rapid change. Okay. So I can tell you that something inside of this or something about this things change very quickly um the two of cups the king of pentacles and the queen of wands i think two people were arguing about a specific piece of this ship um there seems to be a disagreement between two people it's like money talked was this thing rushed because the king of pentacles tells me someone pushed it along and it was pushed along quicker than it should have been eight of wands the production of this the making of this everything was pushed along much further than it should have been and it does look like there was someone here queen of wands verse who was um warning people about this um they were very much warning people like this is not this doesn't make any sense we're going a little bit too quick here there's pieces missing there's parts missing so for me i already see uh someone being a little bit like upset and warning people like, I don't know, dude, like, I don't think this is going to go the way you, way you think it is. But the King of Pentacles says someone with money kind of came in and was like, no, I'm spending the money. We, we need the money. We're spending the money. Like, that's just what I'm seeing with that King of King of Pentacles. It's like money talked. So money talked made this go quicker than it should have. And there were some solutions to some issues that were rushed. So I don't know if that's parts of the submarine. I don't know if that's the whole submarine in general. To me, I would probably assume it's it's probably a part of the submarine. It seems completely rushed. Uh, the nine of cups, someone was going to get what they wanted no matter what at all costs. The four of cups, yeah. And the five of cups, like we can't disappoint this person. We can't disappoint this person. Um, we can't do, we like literally to me, it's like, this would be like, like predicting disappointments before it began. So it's like, you're a worry war, you're crazy. Like maybe it didn't work a few times. Maybe the test drives didn't work, but it doesn't matter. We're going to figure it out anyways. It's like, this had to go no matter what, like this is what, this is what was meant to happen no matter what. Basically it's like, we have to do this no matter what happens, no matter what fails, like we have to, like they're paying for this. This is what they want. We have to do, make this work. And we see a victim of the circumstances here. I feel like a lot of the team was pressured when they built this because um, I think that a lot of people are going to start turning and looking at the people that built this and blaming them. But there was a lot of pressure and overhead. Four Swords Reverse and the World Reverse tells me maybe people were, were kicked off the team or shunned on the team. I just, I see people like 
being forced to meet a deadline. Um, especially with that world reverse net world reverse net four swords reverse. That's like that's like, oh, this prototype didn't work. Well, you better make a new prototype. This has to happen. It 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 is a complete rush job to me. Eight of Wands is the first poll. It was completely a rush job. And I also think that the initial plans of the submarine were much different. I feel like the initial plan of the submarine was much larger or there was some sort of difference. And um, it seems like they had to rush and change things in order to get it out in a timeline. I think they were up against the clock. Yep. Five of Pentacles. That's like someone abusing their power, but it doesn't necessarily translate to someone who's mean. It just means that money talks. So it just further reiterates what I said. And the Ten of Cups is upright with the King of Wands. Like we don't want to make someone mad. We don't want to disappoint them. We want them to have their happily ever after. We want them to be happy. So to me, I'm a little bit worried. This seems like uh, money kind of forced a lot of people's hands. Yeah, there's the Devil card reverse, the Four of Pentacles reverse, and the Ace of Swords reverse. I also think that this was like a way to show off. Um, Ace of Swords is regrets and the Four of Pentacles putting a lot of money into this. I think that they that this cost more money than they thought it was going to cost. And since it was just a flex, I think a lot of people were like, this isn't worth it with the Devil card reverse. But since we've already started, we have to finish. I think the people that were, I think even the person that was funding this wanted to stop it at one point, but it was like a sunk cost fallacy. I've already invested money into this. I can't pull out. Uh, so it's almost like everyone was ignoring their intuition about this project. Did anybody pull out at the last minute? I see something. I see someone either being fired or someone being pulled out at the last minute or someone pulling out at the last minute. There's something to do with that. Eight of Cups reverse, Queen of Pentacles, and Three of Swords. Like, uh-uh. This is not... I'm getting out of here. Um, three of Swords, yeah. I can see the writing on the wall. Someone knew better. Someone knew better. And I, this person warned other, other people. I don't know if they made the ship or they were supposed to be on the ship or what, but they knew better and they warned everyone. Okay, three of wands, empress, king of swords. Okay. I think someone, as soon as they got in the water, freaked out. The Three of Swords, Empress, and King of Swords, I can kind of like see myself on the ship, and I can see one person freaking out. So I see one person panicked. I can feel one person panicked. Everyone else is not as panicked as this person is, and they panicked almost immediately. Because Empress and King of Swords and Three of Wands, there's one person here that's like, everyone else was kind of like, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. There's some sort of like panic. The moon is reversed. And it's almost immediately. I think, th is it possible that something broke off in someone's hand? Ace of Pentacles holding something it's like holding money so it's like if i rip something off and it's in my hands i feel like something broke because the king of cups and the moon is reversed which to me that's about revealing a secret so think of it this way right the way I'm, again this is difficult i've never done a reading like this before so i'm open to being wrong but the way i would interpret this is the moon is reversed so i'm revealing a secret what's the way to reveal a secret in a submarine exposing it so exposing its insides. And the Ace of Pentacles is something in your hand. It's also like a tangible thing. You think of it like money, something you paid money for. So that means a piece of it. It's like breaking off. Now, I don't know if that's the handle or the, or if it's a piece of the outside. I don't know. But there's something breaking off for sure. The King of Cups is reversed as well, which is about someone kind of like being like, uh-oh. Because that's like their emotions flooding them. Um, which it's also possible that that translates to realistically, like maybe a piece broke off and then it flooded inside. That's also possible. I can't really tell. Again, first time I've ever done this, so forgive me. Um, but I definitely feel like something broke. There has to be. Because there, there's, it's like I had something in my hand, so that makes me feel like something broke. Okay, Queen of Swords, Star... And the Knight of Cups. 
Is it possible that they bumped into something? It's like it's like something breaks, we bump into something. Is that possible? I guess I don't really know. Because the star, the Queen of Swords reverse, and the Knight of Cups. So th that I think of the star as almost like looking at the North Star, like trying to navigate. So that means an issue with navigation. So if, I'm, if we have an issue with navigation, something broke and made us go off track and off kilter or whatever the word is, like not not on the track, like off the tracks. So to me, it's almost like if they bumped into something and they couldn't navigate back. Now, I don't know if they hit the ship. Like, I don't know if they hit the Titanic or if they hit like a whale or a creature or whatever. I almost see it like if you bounce something like a ball back and forth. Like... It's almost like if a whale came in and knocked it back and forth and they were playing ping pong with it. Now, that's not, that doesn't always translate literally, obviously. Um, the odds of that are probably a, like a million to one, but that's kind of what I'm seeing um, is like bouncing something back and forth. Now, I guess technically, I mean, anything's possible that could happen. I mean, maybe, um, but I just see them getting bounced back and forth. It's like, uh-oh. It's like break, bounce back and forth. I don't know. Maybe crash? I don't know. This is, y'all, I'm trying real hard. This is so hard to read because I've never done this before. Um... I don't even know what a submarine really looks like, to be honest. So it's like hard for me to figure out what I'm seeing. Three of cups, six of cups, and hangman. Well, I could tell you that one of the test drives had an issue, and that's the same issue that they're, they had. Now, it might not be the only issue they had, but they also had that same issue with one of the test drives for sure. Because the six of cups is history repeating itself. Unless that translates to them having the same fate as the Titanic, which would be creepy as fuck. Um, hangman reversed in three of cups. Is it possible that someone got injured? And not everyone at first? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm confused. Three of cups. I'm going to have to go back to this reading once we find out what happened to them. If we ever do. If they're alive or not. And see if I can pinpoint what I'm seeing here for the next time that I do something like this because three of cups, I still see someone singled out. There's one person singled out. I mean, when I do true crime, right? When I do true crime, sometimes when one person is singled out, that means that one person died. Sometimes that means that one person survived. Sometimes that means that one person panicked and then everyone else had to help. Like it, it's very difficult to figure out what that is. So... But I see a person singled out. I'm also seeing six of cups can sometimes be children. Was anyone like a father or a mother or a child on board? I don't know. Especially with the ten of cups, which is family. I'm like, there's some sort of like, I guess I probably should have double checked. Um, hindsight is 2020. I guess you guys can put it in the comments down below. Um... Something's weird about the dynamic. There's like a child parent dynamic here. That I think that's where the panic is. We're not going to know unless they find the 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 ship. I don't I'm not going to be able to interpret that correctly. But something to do with that. The 4 of wands is the environment, the page of wands and the judgment card. I think they're stuck somewhere. I think they got stuck somewhere. Judgment is like being around. This This to me is about being around a bunch of wreckage or a bunch of dead people or a bunch of dead objects or just whatever, like stagnant objects, because it's like a graveyard. So to me, it's like being around a bunch of weird stuff. And the page of wands and the four of wands, that's like being surrounded by stuff. Can I be honest with you? Okay, this reminds me of like, 
you know when you okay how do i how do i interpret this in a way that you guys will understand but still take me serious it's okay you know in the little mermaid ariel is always taking like wreckage and she's like taking the gadgets and she puts them in like a shrine almost like that that's what this feels like to me it's like now that could translate to literally something grabbing it thinking liking it that it's shiny and keeping it in like around other objects that it, it enjoyed it could be an animal you know but it could also literally just be that this is with other wreckage right or it got stuck near other wreckage or it got pushed off kilter off track into other wreckage so it's very difficult to me for me to translate that literally Because to me, I just see it like it's it's almost like I see like an anchor. It's almost like an anchor coming down and then plop and there's stuff around it. So it's hard because that could be literal. It could also be a metaphor. But I do think that there's other things around it. Because what I'm also seeing is like a coconut. You know how hard it is to open a coconut? And this thing is sealed shut. So I wouldn't be surprised if there were other things that were trying to like open this or figure out what it is or, um, you know, it's difficult to kind of see. You know, what's interesting is I'm not really, I'm really confused because I can't really get past something breaking and them getting stuck and hitting something. I can't really get past that. That's where like my connection ends. That's all I've got. <sighs> Magician reverse, ten of swords upright and knight of wands. Again, that's like, it's like sabotage, but I don't think it's sabotage. I don't know. I see sabotage, but like I said before, if, if you were warned about something, it'll translate to sabotage and tarot. So it's difficult to read that. Magician, you didn't listen. Reversed. <sighs> Is anyone like super religious on board? Why is the Hierophant here? Well, there's the shipwreck card. Six of Swords reverse. Seven of Cops reverse and Hierophant. I'm not sure if they'll be found. I have no idea. I can't figure this out. I'd be shocked if someone wasn't injured. If they found... If they found them and they were alive, I would be shocked if one of them isn't at least injured. But the other thing that's making me confused here is like it's like I've lost connection. So it's like it's like it's like being lost at sea, right? Which they are. But how how do I know? I don't know how to tell if they're going to be found or not. I will say this. The odds are not looking great. If I were doing a true crime reading and if I were doing a true crime reading and I was looking for evidence, I'd be like, you might find a piece of evidence. I don't know if, if you'll find the whole thing. Um, but even if you do, it's not, it's not the best odds. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. I would say like, I would say like, 20% chance of this being found. 20%. Yeah. I feel feel comfortable with that percentage. It's not impossible. Um, I do think it's stuck somewhere, though. I think I got stuck somewhere or lodged somewhere. It's almost like I got hooked somewhere. Now, whether or not it gets broken free from that or they find it, I don't know. I'm worried about the people inside, though. I'm going to be honest with you. Even if it is found, I'm really worried about the people inside because even though they have oxygen, something's not right about them inside of there. I mean, I'm sure people would go insane getting stuck in there regardless, but something else is off about what's inside of there.
I know this is going to sound strange, but I really feel like someone freaked out because they saw something. I really feel like someone saw something. And if you were to ask that person, like if they're found alive and you were to ask that person, you'd just be like, oh, they hallucinated. But like they saw something strange. It could have just been like a, a whale or like a weird, creepy, like, you know, underwater creature or something. But I see someone panicking almost instantly. I'm telling you, someone panics like almost instantly because they saw something that scared the crap out of them. It could have literally just been like an orca or something and it just scared them. But I just see them like freaking out because they saw something that like scared them. And that's like adjacent to all of this. I mean, it could even be as simple as like, oh, I don't like certain fish and I saw fish, but I don't know, dude. Seems seems like they saw something a little intimidating, so. The sea scares me, dude. The sea scares me. All right, that's the best I can do. Honestly, I'm open to being wrong. I'm going to be paying close attention to this case and going back in this reading and seeing um, pieces of it that I can put together the next time I have to do something like this because this is the hardest reading I've ever done. Like, That's why I love doing this so that you guys can see that like I'm learning every day with my own ability and my own you know tarot cards and stuff like that. And this is a massive challenge. And, uh, you know... If anything, if I ever need to, you know, learn, I mean, if I ever need to use this again, God forbid, then, you know, I'll have this as a learning tool um, to figure it out. But I hope that they find them. I hope that everyone's alive. I'm just a little concerned. So that's about it. I'm going to leave it there. Remember, these rings are all legend for chambers only. My intention is to help. Follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and Friday. Subscribe down below if you made it this far. <sighs> prior readings are on amphrodite.com um they restock every so often i post my socials when they do my youtube memberships are getting revamped it'll be a five dollar ten dollar fifty dollar dollar tier so stay tuned for that um if you like this you can always tip there's a link to my paypal down below there's a button answers that's the hardest things you can money directly until next time good luck